founder and director of uh, the leading Pan-African communications consultancy, APO Group, Nicholas Pompey, called for intensified efforts to fully capacitate African national media for the well-being of the continent. Nicholas exclusively told ETV English that media has the power to change the old narrative of uh, Africa. APO Group is a leading Pan-African communications consultancy. Established in 2007, the company said it has been assisting private and public organizations in sharpening their reputation and increasing their brand equity in target countries. The rising influence of international media organizations in the African continent seems to be a concern to the prominent lawyer and media expert Nicolas Pomping. That's, by the way, the, the, the issue we have as a continent. We, we, we are receiving all those international media. Uh, I do not see a, 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 a reaction uh, uh, which is, uh, which is at, at the level it should be. I mean, again, uh, media are important. Uh, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe for some people it's, it's when, when the, the, the media landscape will be, uh, will be so poor that you won't be able to rely on, on, on it, that, you, that people will realize what they have lost and how important it was. Maybe it's one of those things when you, don't, you, you, have, to, you have to lose it to realize how important it was, maybe, for some people. But I mean, media, media landscape, a, a, a healthy media landscape is extremely important for governance, for, for democracy, for development, for, uh, for health. We, we, we mentioned that for, for WHO, etc. So, uh, so we cannot just uh, uh, witness that and, and just wait uh, for the uh, uh, international to take over, and and, and I also mentioned that, that question about sovereignty. It's a it's a huge problem on its own. I mean, and for instance, government should see that uh, even even with their uh, even if they are only focusing on, on their own uh, uh, you know uh, interests, they should see that well. Uh, it's not good for them if the international media are making are making shaping the opinion in their country.